Okay, so let's try to flash the last beta flight version for how uh, to after 2,210. So uh, go to the uh, PMR flasher panel and you have to select the SP Racing F3 port and we will install the last official one, actually this 3.1.7 but this 3.2 will be available very soon. So um, I will leave this uh, default flash option. Okay, I will load the firmware from internet and, and we're uh, ready to flash. If I've got some problem of uh, DFU compatible driver, I will have some um, a pass display here and I will need to manually install a compatible uh, firmware uh, driver for this uh, to flash correctly better fly. So let's attempt to flash. Okay. And um, actually I've got a timeout so I will try to reflash one more time and uh, this time is working so uh, no specific uh, DFU driver is required okay and this process is a little bit long but it would be okay and um, we should be able to adjust more um, YSD settings okay through the uh, beta flight because I think the uh, YSD is uh, a built-in chip uh, for the F3 um, SP Racing F3 board, so we will check that fact immediately. So uh, verifying, take a couple of seconds more to completely finish the uh, flashing process. Okay. Always uh, do that job with a prop removed. It's very important. Okay, just a couple of seconds more. Okay, flash successfully, so I will press connect and uh, seems to be okay. Yes, no problem. So remember that the board is aligned, is a flip of 90 degrees. Okay, so be aware of that. And we will check the version. Okay, and we have effectively the 3.1.7. Um, so we press the setup. Okay. And remember also as well the UART uh, 2 was got an, an MSP uh, turn home, I will say. Okay, and uh, we will start the uh, configuration. So um, we will push uh, the zero up to uh, 4 kilos. Okay, as well here for 4 kilos. Um, we will apply uh, the uh, board alignment of 90 degrees as I said previously okay and um, let's continue I will already press save and reboot okay so as you can see the CPU will just increase up 7 portion not so much more and um, I will uh, turn off the black box of the transponder and I will turn on the uh, OSD okay and uh, let's uh, continue to configure. We will monitor the VBAT and the uh, current matter. Okay, so we are ready. Uh, one shot is obviously selected. No possibility really to uh, update to DShot 600 because it's not supported. Uh, we will maybe uh, decrease a little bit the minimum throttle value to 1040. Okay, because it was like this before. And let's continue. We are we are dropped for face safe, so it's very important. Okay, and um, now let's check the default PIDs. I will keep the default beta flight. Just increase uh, the uh, rates to something more about nine hundred uh, uh, degrees per second. Okay, something like this. And uh, more uh, linear EL answers, okay, it's for the uh, uh, radar camera, something like this, okay, about, about uh, 600 uh, degrees per second. I'll decrease a little bit the level of strength, but it's not necessary for the first two mode angle and reason, okay, I will press save. And now uh, it's time to check uh, the receiver, so I forgot to um, configure it, okay. So by default it was a PPM, so it should work out of the box. I will uh, turn on uh, the uh, battery to boot the uh, 
receiver okay and turn on the radio as you can see is working okay I've got some activities on the um, motor so it's time to uh, re-increase a little bit maybe the minimum values okay okay and I will arm okay so uh, let's continue the configuration okay. and let's do the uh, small adjustment so in terms of flight mode I will apply more angle mode okay and I will need to check the uh, deviation of the three-way sticks okay and as you can see the course is very small so I will need to when I will be in what position to do like this in the second I will apply the course more like this in the middle okay and when I am acro I will have I will say the uh, uh, air mode as well as the anti-gravity okay I will save so let's check that angle origin and air crew and I will assign if it's possible a bother but unfortunately uh, there is not a bother uh, no extra switch okay except the arming so it's very important to harm so this is the ox2 okay so be aware it's inverted so we have to harm when it's on down position okay and let's press save you can see it's working okay and I will just slightly uh, decrease this value the minimum uh, probably to something 20 because it's the motor are spinning so something maybe even lower Okay, because I still have some uh, small uh, activities okay so it, it I will probably need also to calibrate uh, the ESC I will do it so um, now I will uh, uh, try to focus more on the OSD okay uh, so let's check, let's check that uh, so the fly controller doesn't support any uh, OSD so it means that it's an external module so it's time to calibrate the motors as well so be sure to be prop half to put the master maximum okay plug the battery and decrease the AC okay so now it's calibrated okay I will turn on the radio okay now is perfectly calibrated okay so no problem so we can now after the calibration was the trick so I will now apply something more uh, 1040 okay okay perfectly and it's stopping okay so um I will uh, try to find a way to have a bother okay and uh, for example what you can do is maybe uh, to uh, couple the uh, harming with the bother uh, one is disarm or some stuff like this to have the uh, information so uh, now it's time to uh, check in beta flight settings and we'll also have a look to the uh, uh, firmware if I can flash the last firmware as well if the OSD information is still here okay so for belly configurator we'll try to see if we can flash the last firmware on the ASC and we press connect and uh, you need, will need to press uh, to connect the battery okay be sure to have always the props removed and press read setup so uh, we will uh, flash whole okay actually seen at the flycore raptor 20 ampere 
Uh, there is no big difference between both, uh, between the 30 and uh, the 20. So I will press flash all, okay, and I will select the uh, last version, okay, and I will press flash. So it's flashing the first one. Second one. Third. Okay, so it um, seems to be flush, so I will write the setup, be sure. And I will disconnect, so DSA will reboot. Okay, and now it's time to disconnect the battery. And I uh, will uh, see if in a uh, better flight, okay, uh, everything will be correct. So I will press connect, go to the uh, motor, okay, I will uh, now uh, press I understood, I will connect the uh, battery, okay, and I will try to see if motor are, are spinning, no problem, so they are correctly seen, and I just want to see if for, by miracle these shots are 6 and we we works i will press save i'm not i'm pretty sure it won't but i will try okay i will press the arming button and is officially not working so okay so d shot 600 is not working only one shot to 125 i will press setup okay and now it's perfectly working Okay, so uh, no uh, support of this shot 600, it was obvious because it's not really bell and yes, compatible, yes. Uh, last settings, so first I will uh, disable the uh, OSD because uh, as you saw, it, there is an external device, but uh, don't worry, it's still working, so you can disable the OSD. And the uh, CPU usage with 4 kilos is 30%, but uh, if we go to the receiver section, um, if and we plug the battery, okay. Uh, be aware with the um, uh, forward and backward, the pitch, the channel are reversed. If I press forward, you can see that I go to 1000, and if I press backward, it's 2000. So you will need to type a small comment, okay, in the CLI. You will need to um, uh, use the RX range to uh, inverse the channel, so in beta flies is like this, uh, to 2000 to 1000, okay, this is the end point, you inverse the end point, and don't forget to press save, okay, and now if we go to the receiver, look that, I will press forward, no problem, I am backward, and backward 1000, so this is perfect, let's check the other, around, perfect, yeah, is also perfect, so no problem at all. So only the uh, pitch channel one uh, need to be reversed. That's all. So uh, now the uh, Top Two Falcon 200 then is more or less updated in terms of software and firmware. So you are almost the last uh, features enabled, and this is the maximum what you can obtain from this machine. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.